Hello everyone, I'm Watson. In this video, we're going to check if we can use an IP HD camera and provide a live stream video. So, imagine this HD IP camera is pointing towards the squirrel feeder and we want to share this adorable image with like our friends or strangers around the world. And when squirrels come and eat, we want other people to see it as well. So this is uh, like one of the reasons we're going to provide a live streaming for them. In order to do that, first we're going to have to make sure that our HDIP camera is working properly. We can go to our mobile device, uh, take a look at it, and see that it's providing constant, not interrupted images or videos. In that case, we're sure that our internet is good enough for us to provide this live stream and let people from other places watch it with us. In order to create a live stream, we're going to have to retrieve something called the RTSP, Real Time Streaming Protocol. This protocol allows us to provide this image, this video feed, push it towards the internet and let other people receive it and watch it. To retrieve this RTSP, we're going to have to go to our Green Backyard homepage and look for the default format of this URL. Once we get it, we can add our IP the address for this camera to the URL. And if we have a password for the camera, we need to add it as well. After that, we can get our RTSP. After we have our RTSP, we can push it to any streaming platform and then let other people enter our channel and watch our streaming. So now we know that we need to retrieve this RTSP protocol. Now I'm going to show you guys how to look for it on our website. Now you have retrieved your RTSP. Once you have your RTSP, sometimes we might get a little mistake, we might cut and paste not enough information. If you want to check if your RTSP is valid, you can use a software called VLC. VLC can can show us the RTSP if it's valid. We will have the street live stream shown on our screen on monitor. If the RTSP has broken pieces or not enough of the URL is pasted on it, it cannot show anything. So this is a tool for us to check if our RTSP is proper or not. And then to push our RTSP to live streams, sometimes we'll need a software called OBS, Open Broadcast Software. So this thing is another thing you need to prepare. Once you have these ready, all you need to do is check for the platform stream key and you can add the stream key to the OBS and the OBS will help you connect to the platform and you can just stream, stream on them at that time. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, you can leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.